important, whether it's common products like aluminum or land. The Pete Dye Golf Club, for example, is on a reclaimed coal mine. In Bluefield, John Fuschenberger saves parts of houses from the landfill. His home has parts of 25 different houses. He calls it Hill House, named after a house in the classic horror film, The Haunting. Chuck Klein produced this outlook. Wonder who else will be there? Wonder what Hill House is like? From my bedroom window, I could see this old house standing in a grove of trees with all its upper windows out, not a scrap of paint on it, and thinking to myself, one day I'm going to live there. I'm John Fuchtenberger. I live at Hill House in Bluefield, Mercer County, West Virginia. Uh, Hill House is an 1899 ongoing restoration. The house was in uh, basically, it was shot. If it had been anywhere else, it would have been torn down. But all by itself on a hill commanding the glorious view, it was outside Bluefield. Bluefield was incorporated in 1889, and the boundaries didn't include Hill House until later on in the century when it was taken into the town. Uh, one of the odd present facts about that is Hill House sits on 20 acres, 10 straight up, 10 straight down on the top of the hill, but it doesn't have a street address. I've always been a great admirer of the work of Shirley Jackson, a New Yorker author, author who wrote uh, the famous short story, The Lottery, that appeared in The New Yorker in 1948 to great success. She also wrote a book called The Haunting of Hill House, uh, the, the, the first movie made with Claire Bloom and, well, I forgot, the male stars. In 1962 or three, black and white, wonderful movie, very well worth watching again. But it was an homage to Shirley Jackson and named it Hill House for the uh, in, for the uh, eponymous Hill House of, of, the, of, the, of the movie. Lucille Clements Henderson was the youngest daughter of the five children that had inherited the house from Annie Clements uh, in 1956 and, and bought the house uh, from her. It, it, of course, has a reputation of being haunted. Um, I, I asked Mrs. Henderson if it was haunted, and she said, oh, just, just no, that house is not haunted. Uh, but if it is, I'd know them. It wants you, Mel. The house is calling you. I've it really sounds haunted. It groans. It creaks. You hear all these odd pops and cracks and... <laughs> As in many houses of the period, the only elegance Hill House was was just the, the size, the proportion, the, the, the location. Obviously, the, the gent who built this place, a man named John R. McCulloch, uh, built it because he liked views. Hill House sits on a knoll surrounded by hollers on each side and has a glorious sweeping view out to the valley of South Bluefield to East River Mountain, and the crest of East River Mountain, of course, is Virginia. So you get to see... Uh, from Hill House, uh, Virginia, West Virginia, and the whole sweep of, uh, of the South Bluefield Valley. Kind of an unusual touch for this house is that the house terminates with a widow's walk. That's, uh, that's of course, a characteristic of 19th century and late 18th century seaside um, maritime city houses. Uh, kind of far inland for such a feature, but it became a, a popular feature also because rather than the house just terminating at a, a peak, it would terminate in a more or less elaborate balustraded uh, balcony. Sometimes if it was a roof structure up there, you'd call it a belvedere or a cupola, but mostly it's called a, uh, a widow's walk. So I, I guess I'm a junior grade Sanford and son. I have a 1954 Dodge dump truck and a 1953 Dodge pickup truck and it's a rather familiar sight in Bluefield for me to load up a bunch of my boys and friends and go perform the last rites to an old house and to harvest usable parts. This is a watercolor by Joy Schott of the Anastack Sadler townhouse in downtown Bluefield from about the turn of the century. 
When it was torn down, I took the ornamentation from the second floor. You see all that pressed tin ornamentation and the arched window? Put it on the third floor of the tower at Hill House. Now, Hill House probably has 25 major other houses incorporated in its carcass. Uh, the old Frankenstein place, scores of dead houses stitched back together. Uh, again, landfill candidate if we had not intervened. family attic. Uh, as, as our family ages, we live a long, long time. But as our, our family ages um, and downsize or move into our homes, uh, I get a lot of, oh, John, you have a big house. Here, you take this. Not only I won't get rid of it, but I'll look after it and I'll polish it and I'll clean it. Uh, it, it it's interesting to be the family attic. You can have everything from your grandfather's telegraph box to your to eating on the, with the same silver that your grandmother started housekeeping with. In the old-fashioned manner, how God answered their voilà. prayer. Higginbotham house was torn down. Uh, we removed a turret that was 16 feet tall and 9 feet wide with a bell cast roof. And so um, we get the chainsaw and rent a crane and go down and cut it off the bottom of the chainsaw and drop a chain through the top of the tower and attach it to the roof beams, pluck it off, bring it up here, and voila, we've got a turret. Um, and in, in fact, it just seems like when you start taking turrets, there's no place to stop. <laughs> If a house comes down, you've got to be there. Renting flatbeds, getting permits from the city, saying, I'd like to move a turret. And the staff says, you want to move what? It, it's helpful to be the city attorney because you can guide them with what you're actually doing. I had thought that maybe I shouldn't get a permit because if it didn't work out, suddenly there's this 10-foot pile of rubble in a street somewhere. I could deny all knowledge of it. But unfortunately, you develop a bit of a reputation for being the local Sanford and Son. Whenever a house is torn down in Bluefield, and unfortunately that happens a great deal with the city's great population loss, but still available are um, door locks, door hinges, doorknobs, stops, chandeliers, switch plates, outlet plates, to just all the, everything you could, that you needed. It's, it's like a free hardware store. You go to the contractor and say, you're tearing down that house, do you mind if I take this? And usually the answer is no, because other than that, it goes to the landfill. It's just plain old unadulterated fun, even when it's not fun. You know, even when your hands are so cracked with, with paint remover and you smashed your thumb and, 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 and the, the wind's coming in, it's, it's uh, a, a character building experience. You'll be able to read when I'm finished with my house in the obituary section of the Bluefield Daily Telegraph. It'll say, J.W. finished with his house today and went to meet his maker. Uh, doesn't mean the house will be finished. It'll mean I'm finished with it, and it'll be on to the next man or woman. Hill House has stood for 90 years and might stand for 90 more. Within, walls continue upright. Bricks meet, floors are firm, and doors are sensibly shut. Silence lies steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. And we who walk here walk alone.